What's up, guys? I'm the Meagler, and today we're going to learn about our neighbors to the north, Canada. Make sure you guys like the video. It really helps out my channel grow. And also subscribe if you haven't. But we're going to learn a little bit about what Americans don't know about Canada. So without further ado, let's learn. This is the Peace Arch, standing near the westernmost edge of the U.S.-Canadian border. 30 miles south of the Olympic City, between Blaine and Washington State, and Surrey, British Columbia. This was dedicated in 1921 to commemorate the treaty that ended the War of 1812 between the U.S. and Great Britain. Remember, Canada was a British colony. That Did was not a long know that. Time ago, but the inscription on the arch sums up the relationship. May these, these gates, gates never, be closed. never be closed. Okay. We share more than a long border, of course. No data line can divide our joint stewardship of a treasure of natural riches. When I've been to Canada to Pacific, twice. Back again. Shoreline, once to Toronto and, and once lakes, just over the border. And grasslands, precious ores buried in majestic mountains, and wildlife everywhere. From sea to shining sea. Canada and the United States share another unique quality. They're immigrant nations, destinations for people around the world mm -hmm. who long for political freedoms, economic opportunity, and a long tradition of compassion. Our two nations have the largest trading relationship in the world. One and a half billion dollars transacted every day. The two-way trade wow. at the Ambassador One half billion? Detroit and Windsor alone equals all American exports to Japan. And we're so comfortable as Those neighbors. Are, like, ice rings? 200 million, 200 million people across the common border every year. Canada, wow. some may be people. surprised to learn, is America's largest oil supplier. And the United Canada States is Canada's is? number one tourist destination. The tourist destination in makes sense since we're right here. Canada is a huge country, second largest in the world next to Russia. But its population is only about a tenth the size of the United States, 34 right. million, okay. split into 10 provinces and three territories. 10 90% of Canadians live provinces. within 100 miles of the U.S. border, residing in oh, shit. class cities, thriving farms really close and small towns. With good reason, life in the Canadian North is only for the hardy. It is remote and oh so cold. Guys, I can't stand the snow. In North America occurred in 1947 in Snag, Yukon, minus 81 degrees. Not yeah, see, windshield. I don't get that where I am. That's insane. We do get snow though every year where I am. They share with us their brightest stars in music, comedy, acting, sports, and journalism. Jim Carrey's Canadian? I did not know that. Hmm. And like Justin Bieber is, Drake is. on your side. They were in World War II before we were. Huh. They were there on D-Day, in the air and on the beaches. They've been America's most reliable partners in Afghanistan, and it's been costly huh. and painful. Now, when Canada loses a warrior in that distant land, the nation pauses and honors the fallen along what is called the Highway of Heroes outside of Toronto. Even their diplomats have been there for us. In 1980, a year before the conclusion of the Iranian hostage crisis, six American embassy personnel would escape from Iran in an operation organized by Canadian Ambassador Ken Taylor. The United States is thanking Canada for rescuing those six American diplomats from Iran. Taylor hid the Americans after the U.S. It's a good relationship we got, it looks like. ...created fake Canadian passports, then flew the Americans out of Tehran with a bogus cover story. The six in disguise oh, that's a smart. Hollywood film crew allegedly researching a prospective sci-fi flick. Come on. Now, all these years later, Taylor has admitted he was formally working for the CIA. And if the Iranians had discovered he was an American spy, he would have been in big, big trouble. Mm -hmm. In our darkest hours, Canada has been with us. On September 11th, as the United States shut down its airspace, Canada instituted Operation Yellow Ribbon, landing 239 U.S.-bound flights with 33,000 wow. passengers at 17 different Canadian airports. Did not and know that either. Thank you, Canada, for that. Holy that crap. Followed, 
Entire communities housed and fed those thousands of passengers for days afterward. In the long history of sovereign neighbors, there never has been a relationship as close, productive, and peaceful as the U.S. and Canada. Mm -hmm. We share a continent and so much more. Speaking before the Canadian Parliament, President Kennedy summarized the relationship this way. Geography has made us neighbors. History has made us friends. Economics has made us partners. And necessity has made us allies. Those whom nature has so joined together, said Kennedy, let no man put us under. Of course, there are some distinct differences in the culture. The American fans at these games will be unfurling the stars and stripes at every opportunity and chanting USA, USA. The Canadian Prime Minister had to go before Parliament yesterday and urge Canadians to engage in what he called an uncharacteristic outburst of patriotism, saying, don't be afraid to wave those flags. We'll apologize to the world for our immodesty later. So that's a big difference, Al. He hopes he has to do it very often. You know what struck me in that piece among Al Michaels. the items? There are more people Legend. in California than there are in all of Canada. Wait, but really? Canada has a stronger and more sound economy at this point as well. That's all, of, all of California is more than Canada? Put. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. I think one of the biggest things that sticks out is that I didn't know that Canada had, had all the airports start you know, hosting American planes landing there during 9-11. I didn't, I didn't know that at all. I mean, there's a lot I didn't know of this video, so, but that one sticks out to me the most, so I really appreciate that Canada did that for the U.S., because that was, September 11th was just a day of tragedy and something we'll never forget over here, so. But overall, great video. You know, it shows just the relationship that we have with Canada, and, you know, I'm glad I was able to learn a little bit more about Canada today. Still got a lot to learn. Would love to go back. You know, I think the borders are back open now. Um, so definitely need to take a trip there again. And it was always very clean when I went there too, which was great. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys next time.